So you've been smoking with your Z Grills pellet smoker and you've come to the end of a grilling session and realized that there are still a bunch of pellets in the hopper. Now, if you're gonna be using the smoker again in the very near future, it's totally fine to just leave them in there. But if your smoker sits outside especially, and if it's going to be a little while, more than just a few days before you're gonna smoke again, I recommend getting the extra pellets out of the smoker. The reason for that is that these things, the augers can jam up pretty bad if there are a bunch of pellets down in there that have gotten damp. And pellets and wetness, what it does to pellets is it makes them swell and kind of revert back into sawdust. And if they stay damp and they swell, they can just lock everything up. So if you want to prevent auger jams, which can be just a pain to take care of, it's good to empty the pellets out of your smoker in between sessions. Again, if it's going to be more than just a few days. But the Z-Grills doesn't have a real convenient little chute to empty out all the extra pellets. And this thing actually holds a lot of pellets. In fact, you can run this for like 17 hours straight at about 350 degrees and not run out of pellets. So if you filled the hopper all the way and need to get the extra pellets out, it's time to do it. So without further ado, let's jump into how to go about getting the extra pellets out of your Z-Grill smoker. All right, so this hopper actually still has quite a few pellets still inside of it. Um, it's got this little cage here that um, makes you think that maybe it's about empty, but this actually has several hours worth of pellets still in it. We wouldn't want to just burn those down. And so the easiest way to go about getting these pellets out is to scoop as many of, of them as you can out directly. So, you know, if you're still up above this cage quite a bit, obviously you're going to just scoop them out the best you can use a cup or something that's going to help you. But honestly, I'm actually going to get this cage out of the way so I can clear out the rest of my pellets to do that. You just need a Phillips screwdriver and there are four little screws. It's good to use a magnetic one. You don't want to be dropping these screws down into the pellets. If one of those screws gets down in the auger, it, it could cause a pretty good jam. There were two on the back and now there are two on the front side. There aren't any on the sides, just on the front and back. They put the cage in for safety reasons. I understand um, you wouldn't want somebody sticking their finger down in a moving auger. And before you get any further here, make sure that you have this completely turned off, um, probably even just unplugged like I have mine right now. But now that you've done that, you can just kind of lift the cage out. Now with the cage out of the way, you can just use a cup or a small bucket to just scoop most of these out. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. As you can see, I've been able to get quite a bit here. Um, even after scooping with the little bucket, I can get several with just my hands. Now that we're down to this point, the easiest thing that's going to be to do is to just turn this back on and let those pellets just run all the way through the smoker, run them all the way out the auger, out the other end. Um, on this smoker in particular, we don't have just a regular feed setting where we can just run the auger without turning it on. So I'm just going to turn it all the way up to high. As you can see, this smoker doesn't have a setting to just feed the auger, um, to feed pellets through the auger. So the best thing to do to get this done quickly, and it should only take a few minutes with how few pellets we've left in here, is to just turn it all the way up to high. That's gonna run the pellets through the auger at the fastest speed um, that it has. And then when you're done, you can go just vacuum out the ash just like you would after using the smoker normally. And that's it. It's a fairly simple and straightforward process, um, but it's again, not quite as convenient as if we were to have just like a nice shoot like we get on some of the other grills. Now this channel is all about learning how to cook um, like a man in the great outdoors. And so if you like learning how to take care of your pellet smoker and you wanna have tips on that, if you wanna learn about Dutch oven cooking and grilling and all sorts of things related to outdoor cooking, make sure you subscribe to this channel so we can put out other fun and helpful videos for you in the future.